What's going on guys? So last season I did an unranked the challenger hit challenger stop the series and that was it So I think this season I'm gonna be stepping up my game I'm gonna be doing a level 1 to rank 1 series So it's gonna kick off an OS, but hopefully in, later in the year I'm gonna be traveling to a couple of different servers so maybe this uh, this series can be going international, but first and foremost, we're starting off on the O server. I just got level 30 today. Um, I'm not going to bore you with all the, the bot games. So getting into the placement games, I just really want to talk and explain to you guys and just give you guys my thoughts and my thought process into games, how to carry low elos. I think the Unranked Challenger was great. A lot of people liked it. It kind of helped to show how high elo people go into your elos and just stomp games and carry and how you guys can pretty much copy and do that yourselves in your own gameplay. So without further ado, let's get into the placement games. Alright, so heading into the first placement game, boys. I'm playing Cassio into an Ari. It should be a pretty simple matchup. I've gone Ignite. I'll probably look for a level 2 all in with the Presence of Mind. Um, yeah, let's teleport. It's going to be a pretty weak lane for her, but I do have to care for the early Jarvan ganks. Other than that, I mean... Honestly, our comp... I think our comp looks a little bit better. The Gangplank's okay, but... Usually allow he's gonna hold lane really well. It's like my game plan here is pretty much hold a freeze early on. I'll go for like the level two all in. Hopefully snowball my lane and then I'll just look for um I look for bot lane rooms to be honest. Ash and Timo really immobile. If this was like a Thresh Trist, I'd start focusing topside, but if they have an immobile bot, it's always better to just fucking shove lane, roam to the immobile lane. It's just free kills usually. And if not a kill, you get the summoners. Alright, so she has literally just like, just queued from distance, so safe, and just, she's like terrified. I'm literally, I'm um, just gonna get like, shove this massive wave in, and then I'll look for like, a kill on the job in the jungle. I'll just like, walk through now, he's probably going blue-red, and we see how he clears. Right here, right here, right here, quickly. If you need a slow, maybe. She's actually hella quick. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's fucking such an annoying chase, but... At the end of the day, Ari's going to be really far behind, and I can probably deny her like most of this wave, but I, I want to make sure I can get back in at the tier. I don't like a bronze chase, but there's not really much for me to do. It's like either I abort the, the chase completely and just go back to lane, or... And like my lane is in such a good spot that it's kind of like the chasing's not too bad. It's a shame I didn't get the Jarvan though. Like you saw how I communicate, I knew exactly where he's going to be. I, think, I don't know how, I think he flashed on my W, or maybe he's just off of it. Go get her? Ah! Dude, so fucking close to kills here. I see where they're Jarvan's Jarv topside, so I'm all good to shove in. I'm at no threat of dying. Base here for the tier. Ari's gonna Ari's just missing so much. She's gonna be literally useless. Um 9 CS. Do you see this zone, guys? It's not very hard. Like you can you can almost always do this zone if you have a lead. Flash by the Ari. Jarvan just doesn't respect me. They think they can get it. I, I I just assumed there that Ari had used her old bot side. I don't really know that she had, but I just assumed that she had. I don't know why she wouldn't have, so. Comes out for a good trade for me. I'll be going a sweeper early just to like counteract the Teemo. It looks like the Teemo like knows what he's doing. He has fucking four kills, so having a sweeper to like deny the shrooms early is just gonna be massive. Like he's probably shroomed all around Baron. Should be pretty easy to roam here on the Ash. There's no there's no escape route for her as long as I can hit a Q. So 
So, game plan here, shove tower, and then I want to go for the bot lane tower. Emo's ahead. Have to, like, prioritize that lane with my lead. I'm forcing all. Oh, she's dead. So shove, 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 shove this tower. Then we look bot. Need, need to get that sweep. Somebody needs to remind me to get that sweep on the next base. Avoid team of shrimps. Where is the team? Oh. Actually get him. There he is right here. Shove, shove, shove. Tower, tower, tower. And then I'm going to look for the... What's that? That's like two hits. I really want that Inferno now. Get the base in first. Get the Archangel. I'm gonna jump into the side lane now, guys. I don't like CS per minute in these lower elos. It doesn't really mean that doesn't mean much. Like you don't have to get 10 CS per minute every game, but just know that if you're sitting, if I'm sitting mid sharing XP with a carry, it's like you're just denying not only yourself but also your like you're like I don't know the Caitlyn the solo XP as well. Um, you really want to be making sure you're in a lane to yourself, getting XP to yourself. It's so important. XP leads are so fucking strong in these like on the on these type of champions like the Cassiopeia where you come in and, like really um, like level 16 and stuff and your item spikes it's so important. Love Cassio dude Cassio this patch boys is so strong. This build path is like it's just too broken, it needs to get nerfed I think. Mm-hmm. Reaper look for the Teemo. Don't, 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 just go. So I think like a lot of you can learn a lot from this game. Like, am I making some insane fucking outplays montage? No, I'm not. I'm just I'm literally just playing the game where I'm just not taking like high risks. I'm not gonna extend there because the Teemo sh like spawns. Sweeper the Teemo shrinks here in case they're there. Uh, it's just like I'm just playing the simple game and not taking risks. What what are the my team doing? They're taking big risks for these like fucking the canes looking for the dives. Everybody's looking for massive outplays. It's like... The outplays don't get you anything. Come, 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 come. See, like, they don't... They just keep going like this. And I'll just... I'll play slow. I'll play my game. I won't die. I won't get shot down. And it's just like... These small, smart play styles is just... And they're like the small decisions I make to playing passive and slow. Is like it's what wins me games. 
He's dead. So now I want to look for the Baron. The biggest member Teemo is down. Alright, so we have lost our... G our jungle's still here. Alright. I can go for this. Grab the Baron, grab the base, and now I'll, I'll just win the game. I'll close the game off and win. Uh. Imagine having two inhibs dropped, and the team would rather group on the bot lane tower. <laughs> you have to understand, like, it's the back... So this is the wrong call, right? This is the 100% wrong call being here, but... Being by myself mid is not going to help, and if I can't communicate with them, like 5-man group... I can't 5-man group on myself, I need to be with them, so this is like... This is those times where a lot of people say, um... Okay, what do I buy, what do I buy, what do I buy? I really want a death cap, but it's like too expensive, um... Okay, control and save, um... Like, a lot of people are like, my, my team never listens, my team, my team always makes bad decisions, it's like... Even though I know the right decision... I make my decisions around what my team's doing. I don't force into a bad decision, and then after I say, after I fucking die mid because they dive me and I have no sums, uh, I say, oh, you guys should be mid. No, I'd play around them. Play around. So I'll move in for this mid lane inhib, and then I go top lane inhib, and then maybe we can. I'll probably might, might like reset afterwards. And then you just want to look for the bot lane. We got some Baron left, so you just go straight bot, straight bot, straight bot. Put a pink here for the Teemo Shrooms. And then just like slowly close it in. Nothing insanely exciting, just taking the minions, guys. So I am dying there. I think I could have backed up a little bit, but I'm... at the end of the day, I think we'll be able to close out and win. My build path would have been a death cap into a void. So, uh, no, it would just be a death cap into a void, and then and that's full build path would have had about a thousand AP. So in all in all, clean game, easy game. I really hope you guys can kind of just look at that and understand like. That's like, I don't know, I think that's like low gold, high silver or something, my first placement. But like, that elo, it's just... People just try and make plays, man. They try and do this, they try and be Gosu, they try and do everything. You don't have to do anything, boys. You don't, You really don't. You just have to turn your brain on, make zero mistakes. Um, like the, I think I made like maybe one or two small mistakes. I could look at the replay and kind of look at my positioning. Maybe could have went for another solo kill somewhere. But it's not about like insane outplays, it's about having good map pressure, map awareness, objective control. That's all I played that game. Played for the drakes, played for the towers, pushed mid in, roamed bot, roamed top, priority in the mid lane. That type of stuff you need to be looking at. And that's how you're going to climb. It's not being fucking insanely mechanical and just styling your opponent every game. Because that's not going to get your leads. You'll get your leads in the short run, but then if you're styling on them, you're probably going to miss CS, XP, you're going to find yourself even with your opponent. You don't want to be even with your opponent, you want to be miles and leaps and bounds ahead. So until next, guy, next game, guys, um, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time.